everyone, Uncle Jesse here. My desk space here is an absolute disaster. I'm in the middle of a project that will hopefully be showing off here tomorrow, but I just received an awesome new toy that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's only 20 bucks over on Amazon. I'm talking about a USB digital microscope that you can use to get some extreme close-ups of your 3D prints. So today I figured we'd get this hooked up to my laptop. Yes, it works with a Mac or PC or Linux-based computer as well, and I think even if you have an Android tablet or phone, it'll directly plug into one of those and you can use that as a monitor. And today I figure what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of the things that I've 3D printed recently, including some of the prints from my latest Elgu Mars 3 video where I was comparing the Mars 2 Pro versus the Mars 3. We'll relook at some of those prints as well as just some other things that I've randomly 3D printed just to check this out. It should be just a fun little walkthrough of how this works and we'll see how the detail looks on this $20 USB microscope. I forgot to also mention that I found a 3D printable attachment for this microscope. There are also a ton of different 3D printable stands that you can download and print for this that should work probably better than the really cheapo flexible ball head system that came with the microscope. I am gonna print one of those and test that out. It's just a much longer print process. This was only, I think a 40 or 30 minute print on the Prusa Mini. Thankfully, the installation process on my Mac is crazy simple. I just plug it into the machine and it automatically lights up. They did recommend using Photo Booth, so that's what I'm gonna use for this. I'm just gonna do a screen record of my screen and we can see what sort of results that I'm getting from the microscope. All right, so I'm gonna try and record directly from Photo Booth. This might be horrible, I don't know. We can already see here my cutting mat. I can see lots of little details from the cutting mat. Uh, I can adjust the zoom here or the, the focus of the, the lens as well by, there's a little knob on the front of the, the device there. So I'm gonna try not to play with that too much. Uh, let's take a look at one of the miniatures here. Whoa, that's an extreme close up. Let me put it on a little bit of a, a stand so I can get it up a little bit here. So I've got the microscope balanced on top of a few set of weights that I have here on my desk, just so it gives a little bit of leverage so we can see a little bit more of the print. We can actually see a lot more detail here. So this is on the Mars Pro at 0.05 millimeter layer height, and we can see some ringing here on the arms, which is to be expected. I really can't see that with my naked eye that well. And here, replace this with the Mars 2 Pro at 0.5. I can still see the layer line ringing here on the the arm. Wow, look at this tweezers look massive under this microscope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, it still looks fairly good here on the Mars 2 Pro at 0.5. And then again here on the same arm at uh, 0.5 on the Mars 3, we can still see a little bit of ringing, but not nearly as much as the Mars 2 Pro was showing. Also, look how ugly this guy's face is. <laughs> also, when you go and do uh, support removal, it looked fairly well on the prints just with the naked eye, but man, when you get up super close like this, you can see every little flaw and issue that came with the cleanup. And I was able to install the 3D printed clip on this. I'll have links down below to the Thingiverse file if you wanna print one for yourself, if you have one of these or if you end up picking one up. But it's a much better grip versus the one that came with the actual unit. It just provides a much more stabilized hold for the microscope. I forgot to mention there's an adjustment knob on the microscope that allows you to adjust the brightness while you're using it. So you can turn it all the way off to being dim to super bright to help illuminate whatever you're looking at. And here's a close up of one of the slugs. This is the flexible slugs that you can print that I love printing over on the resin 3D printers. This is with the glow in the dark Cirotec fast resin here. And it's this is a close up of one of the antennas and you can see the layer lines that came from printing this at 0.05 millimeters over on the Mars 3. Again, with my naked eye, it's really hard to see any of these layer lines, but with this microscope, I'm able to pull up these little details. Speaking of looking at prints with your naked eye, here is an extreme close-up of one of the Hex 3D flexible Starro starfishes from the Suicide Squad 2. And again, with your naked eye, really hard to see any of the layer lines on this resin 3D print. But when we look up close, this is at the iris area of the eye. We can see all sorts of different layer lines 
that make up this small resin 3D print. All right, let's look at this crazy one here. This is some sort of detail that I really wasn't expecting when getting under a microscope like this. So this is a Loot Studios miniature figure that I printed on the Epax X156. That is a huge resin 3D printer. It was printed at 0.05 millimeter layer height. And look at all of the crazy layer lines that we're seeing with this print as it was building up the actual miniature here. And here's some details on his loincloth cape area in the front of the miniature, where again, we're seeing lots of small layer lines that help build up this particular miniature. And I think the miniature itself, when you're looking at it as a whole, looks amazing, but it's just crazy to see the little details that this microscope can pick up for you. So this was a Loki bust that I printed on the Neptune 2. I think this was at 0.2 millimeter layer height. I'm not entirely sure. I need to stop shaking the desk. Sorry about that here. Uh, it's not exactly the most stable of situations here, but there we go. Uh, this, as you can see with an FDM 3D printer, it's gonna print layer on top of layer on top of layer, and you're gonna see a lot more of those layer lines compared to a resin 3D print. But again, the details on this FDM print, I think look fantastic. And it's just cool to see all of these tiny, tiny details. So here's the exact same 3D print in the same scale, but printed on a resin 3D printer. And you can see how much tighter the layer lines are there compared to the FDM 3D print. And yes, I know it's printed at a much smaller layer height, but again, it's just great to be able to see that comparison between the FDM and the resin 3D prints and why you get so much more of a high quality finish when it comes to those 3D printed objects versus a plastic FDM 3D printer. So is this a resin 3D print or an FDM 3D print? It's actually an FDM 3D print using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle on the Neptune 2. I believe printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height here. And yeah, it's another one of these Hex 3D Sparrow Starfishes from the Suicide Squad 2. And it was just a really quick three hour print here and wanted to see what this larger detailed nozzle looks like under the microscope. And as you can see, you see lots of layer lines merging together as it's mushing and heating those up to create a solid surface on your 3D print. And then the last print I wanted to show you is one of my favorites that's recently come off of the Mars 3, which is this X-23 bust uh, by Eastman that I originally printed when I first received the machine. It's printed at 0.05 millimeter layer height. And I absolutely thought this print was stunning, looks amazing. I still think it looks absolutely amazing. And here is a very close up look at her face and all of the layer lines that you're seeing that make up that particular face. Uh, since it's not a completely flat surface, it helps hide all of those different print lines as it's printing all of the different angles for that particular print. This just looks absolutely amazing in person and when you're nakedly looking at it with your own eyes versus underneath a microscope here. So if you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll have a link down below to the model that I ended up picking up. It's 20 bucks over on Amazon. It took a little bit longer than normal to ship. I think there was just a shipping delay or issue in one of the warehouses, uh, which is why it took a little longer than the normal two day shipping there from Amazon, but it's a fantastic unit. I'm very happy with the results that I'm seeing from this. And again, for 20 bucks, if you're interested in playing around and getting some extreme close-ups of your 3D prints, a really fantastic option for you. And I've even seen some mounts over on Thingiverse where you can mount this to an FDM 3D printer to get some extreme close-ups while you're live 3D printing. And a special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Again, I couldn't do this without your continued support. If you're interested in finding out more about my Patreon and my resin 3D printing settings and support settings, you'll find links down below to my Patreon. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll have a new video out tomorrow covering the 3D printable photo booth that I showed off in one of my previous videos here and how you could make one for yourself. Really excited about that one just because it's a really fun project build that I'm gonna be using pretty much moving forward with a lot of my videos. Hey, thanks again for watching. New video tomorrow. Bye now.